Hello, my name is Armando Diaz and this is my swing calculator program for CSCI 325. For this project, we are testing five cases. So the instructions are displayed in my screen. These are the instructions. And we will be just putting these, these values as, as our input. And we, will, we should be expecting these values as our result. So um, this is our main class. And we will be calling the, the class called StatCalc. Um, we are going just to grow, uh, scroll up to see a little bit the code. We are just importing these packages. Uh, we have here some Java documentation just talking a little bit about this uh, program and this is the stat calc class that is derived by the jframe class and implements the action listener and we will be just overriding a method from the action listener to uh, in order to just read the input and interact with our interface so we have here some private uh, variables so for these variables we have uh, some bottoms some labels and one text field so we have here some also some comments that uh, are helping us to understand how we will be using these variables in the code um, we have the stat calc uh, constructor well we have here all the logic um, just all the components that our GUI will have so we are just for example here setting the frames title and we are we have here uh, just putting and setting um, the label for the data label <laughs> uh, for the data label we have here also the calc bottom and this is the text that we will be uh, seeing for this bottom um, if we just scroll scroll down we will see just a little bit more about the same and how everything how all all the bottoms and text and labels and fields are ordered in our interface or are located in our interface. I'm going to go to scroll down and here we have some methods for our operations. So we have the calc mean. So this is the, the mean operation. This is the me median operation the mode operation and we have here the action perform uh, method that we are overriding and that we we are just using the action event that will help us to to see uh, which which part of our interface are being used by the user so basically if we click the call mean bottom we will be seeing we will see uh, the, this method will be just uh, using that information to calculate the, the operations so I'm going to test the five cases I'm going to run the program just wait a little bit this is our interface for I want to move this a little bit here so the first test case is to provide this input. Uh, as we can see, we have here a white space. So this one doesn't have a white space. This one, yes. And um, we are applying a um, trim function in, in order to just remove the white spaces. So um, that will be very helpful. I'm going to click this button and we should be expecting the 25 25 and 10 so this is the same results and this is just right
I'm going to go to the next test case uh, click the same button and we should be expecting 25 20 and 10 so this is correct and then we are going to calculate the the mean or the average uh, click calculate mean we should be expecting 26 this is correct and then the median calculate median we should be expecting 25 this is correct and the last one Uh, we should be expecting 20 so this is correct I'm going to close our interface and we finished